Now I'm going to concentrate what is tetrachoric correlations. Uh, when we have to use the tetrachoric correlation, as well as I'm going to be highlight some of the computations uh, of tetrachoric correlation. These are the things I'm going to be emphasize uh, now. Uh, before going to the tetrachoric correlation, just I'm going to be highlight what is the tetra. So these numbers we are already familiar. I hope you are already familiar with this number. Uh, one represent mono, uh, two represent tri, three represent tri, four represent tetro. So here, uh, the term itself, the correlation term tetrachoric correlations represent four. Tetro means four. So it means what in the sense we have the two fold classification. Right? We are last class as we discussed about the dichotomous means we have the two fold cl uh, classification. But here we are using a two variable in a two fold classification. Therefore, each variable two two fold. So each variable is a dichotomous in the sense the first variable dichotomous, the second variable is dichotomous. Therefore, all together we have the four fold classifications. If we have the two plus two, normally we have the four classification may come up. From the four classifications, if you are doing correlation, then we can highlight the term as a tetrachoric correlations. Uh, then remaining things also just for uh, information purpose I'm sharing you. When you talk about five, we are using the term spenta. When you're talking about six, that name it's a multiply we call as an hexa. Seven means hepta, eight means akta, nine represent nona, then ten represent deca. So these are the terms we know. But today I'm going to talk about the tetrachoric correlations. It means that we have the two variables. So the first variable having the two fold, second variable also two fold. Therefore, all together two plus two, we have the four fold. We have the four classification maybe that. If you have the four classification base, if you're doing any correlation, then we can call as a tetrachoric correlations. I hope you understand. Now, this is the condition we can apply the tetrachoric correlations. Normally, we know that for doing a correlation, we have the two variables needed. The variable one, it should be a dichotomous. It means the two classifications, two fold classification. The second variable also dichotomous. So this conditions only we can use the tetra correlation. It means that the first variable having the two classification, second variable also two classification. Therefore, altogether we have the four classifications there. Then we can go with tetra correlations. So therefore, it comes four. But in the case of the previous class, what we discussed in the sense like biserial and prime poison, uh, biserial. The condition to apply a biserial and point by serial, one variable is a dichotomous, other variable should be a continuous. Then only we can apply uh, biserial point by serial. But applying the tetrachoric correlation, both the variables should be a dichotomous. But in the classes, the past classes we are discussing the dichotomous having the two uh, types of the one is called natural dichotomous, other one is called artificial dichotomous. But when you look on the tetrachoric correlations, it should be an artificial dichotomy. So it should be artificial dichotomy in both the variables. Then when we can use it. In which purpose we are using a tetrachoric correlation distance? For what is the need to find uh, this kind of tetrachoric distance? For estimating the relationship or the association between the two variables. When both the variables are in a dichotomous, but the dichotomous in an artificial dichotomy, then only we can use the this kind of tetrachoric correlation. I hope you get it. Uh, when both the variables are dichotomous, but the, both the dichotomous in the artificial dichotomy, we have to adopt the tetrachoric correlation. This is the condition we can use the tetrachoric correlation. So uh, before going to the uh, tetrachoric correlation, just I'm going to highlight or uh, once again emphasize the difference between the artificial dichotomy as well as the natural dichotomy. Natural dichotomy represent uh, uh, the variable naturally divided into two categories like gender, male, female. Uh, if you go with the locality, it comes a rural urban. So we can easily classify it only. Uh, it's, it's like a pool is a nominal data. We can easily classify or uh, what is the naturally it may divide only two way only. Male, female, living, dead, owing a home or not owing a home. So here I'm giving this some of the example. Yes or no. So we, the people may take only one stand. They may accept or reject. They may go yes or no. So this kind of only two possibilities there. Uh, that variable, uh, it may be, it, it may in the form of nominal, then it's called natural dichotomy. 
the action dichotomy having the different names are there like true dichotomy or a uh, genuine dichotomy so some of other names also there but in the tetrachoric correlations deals about the artificial dichotomy only what is the artificial dichotomy in the sense the variable basically is like a interval scale but interval scale but we have to be convert that kind of interval scale as a categorical format in the form of nominal from the investigation purpose like if i take is intelligence as a variable see the case of intelligence we know that intelligence uh, intelligence is the variable uh, it's a continuous variable uh, it may be a, it is like a interval it's interval variable but we can divide the interval based on the research purpose we can classify like above average and below average so this is called nominal this is called nominal intelligence is basically is a continuous scale but i am for my research purpose i am categorizing the intelligence continuous scale into a two fold classification like uh, average above average and below average so if i classify the continuous scale in a artificial manner in a two fold classification then it's called artificial dichotomy i hope you may get it but in the case of natural dichotomy naturally it may divide into two only yeah so cyril joined happy to see cyril okay yes now i am moving to the the next one uh, the tetrachoric correlations is used to measure the rate of agreement in a binary data so we already know so what is a binary in the sense zero and one represent a binary here we have the two variable the two variable is here two classifications it means that for example i am taking as a pass and fail pass is a zero fail is a one otherwise pass is a one or fail is a zero uh, as a investigator i can fix the number binary number as we like um but the binary data is a data with two possible answers only right right or wrong normally the tetrachoric correlation estimates what the correlations would be measured in a continuous scale but the continuous scale for our purpose we have to convert as a nominal in a two fold classifications um so the general way uh, general purpose to finding the tetrachoric correlation how the strong or the weak the association or the relationship between the two rates are two variables in a uh, artificial dichotomy so for that we are using tetra correlations uh, we can use the term uh, that symbol for the uh, tetra correlation or tet or rt so most of the people are using a uh, symbol as the representation of the tetra correlation or t or t uh, so i hope you understand what is a tetra correlation just i one one more uh, example i am going to highlight what is it exactly tetra correlations so it's tetra correlation when it's suitable in the sense uh, it's suitable in the situations which we have the two variables needed which we have the two variables needed for doing any kind of correlation but both the variable can be separated in terms of two categories i hope you understand we have the two variable but it should be in a two categories it means a both the variables in a dichotomous in a uh, artificial dichotomy for example i am going to highlight some of the example also so i say a researcher i want to do a study to relationship between the intelligent and the emotional intelligence therefore i have the two variables intelligence first variable emotional maturity is the second variable normally if you see the intelligent and emotional maturity it's it's may come under the interval scale so it may come under the interval scale so interval scale is nothing but continuous scale continuous data but for the research purpose i have to classify for doing a correlation i have to classify the the continuous variable into a nominal scale so like interval scale i'm converting in a nominal in a two fold classification like a dichotomous so i am going to make it as a dichotomous format in a two fold classification for example in the intelligence i may go with above average i am put as an e and other classification below, below average so for that i am going with the a represent above average b represent below average so therefore i am dividing the intelligence to two fold classification like above and below so so i can divide the continuous scale into a categorical format the same way the emotion maturity also i am dividing into two so like emotionally mature emotionally immature so i am so i am making as a i am the same way i am going to other variable like mature rep- m represent mature that immature so immature so here 
the emotional maturity also continues keep based on the scores i can divide these scores into two groups uh, so normally we know the formula for dividing the classification of continuous scale into uh, nominal or the uh, ordinal that is called mean plus or minus standard deviation from this i am dividing uh, the emotional maturity two classification or two fold like uh, emotionally mature emotion immature so i hope you understand from here emotion mature and emotionally immature represent a one variable that is called emotion maturity it consists of two fold it's nothing but dichotomous then i am dividing the intelligence also two fold like above average and below average in this condition we can use the tetra choric i hope you understand therefore it is this is called artificial dichotomous because we are converting a continuous scale into a uh, categorical format so for this is called as an artificial therefore damn sure we can come for this conclusion this kind of calculations or this kind of findings we can do for the tetra choric only now i am going to the one more example also suppose as a researcher i want to study the relation between the adjustment and success there is a two variable i am taking a say adjustment is a first variable adjustment adjustments for first variable the second variable is success right so the result otherwise the result is the second variable in the case of adjustment i make it as a two class normally the adjustment uh, if you can conduct any survey i may give some questionnaire or a uh, scale from the scale i can divide the adjustment uh, variable into two fold classification like how many of them adjusted how many of them mall adjusted so i am going to divide the groups into two classification adjusted behavior student as well as the mall adjusted behavior the same way the success of the result of the students into two classification success and failure so here i am going to classify like see here success adjusted student represent a success mall adjustment students represent b failure adjusted students represent c failure mall adjustment behavior students d so therefore now see here there is a 4 a b c d therefore is got tetra choric so previously only we have the two classification only but now i have the two variable with two classification but it comes to the four fold a b c d therefore we are we are going to adopt a tetra choric correlation i hope you understand how it comes for because if you go with this we can divide the variable into four way one is called success adjuster adjusted one category successful student with mall adjusted student second category in failure adjusted one category and failure mall adjusted another category so like that we are able to categorize into four group therefore we are able to adopt a tetrachoric correlation i hope you understand these things yes so when you go for tetrachoric correlations we need to go with this kind of four uh, two assumptions only so we already mentioned that i am already mentioned that it is a continuous day, uh, continuous scale only but for the research purpose we are um, dividing to a categorical format but the continuous scale like interval uh, so like intelligence or any kind of social maturity it may be normally distributed so when the when the distribution is normally distributed only we can adopt this one the next thing uh there is a latent continuous scale underneath your binary data in or in other ways the trait you are measuring should be continuous not in discrete so don't be take it uh as a variable in a discrete manner so if you are taking discrete manner it won't be continuous we cannot be categorize the group there so therefore mm, and this or the assumption uh we can be look on it before attempting the uh, tetra choric correlations i hope you get it uh, Uh, these are the conditions. So, just I am going to emphasize the condition to adopting this one. Just I am going to be highlight the formulas now. Uh, this is for the formula for computation of the tetra choric correlations. So, R T I already represent. I already emphasize the R T represent. R T represent uh, tetra choric correlations. The formula for the tetra choric correlations. Uh, they use the term cos. So, here they using the some trigonometric concept cos of. 180 degree into root of bc divided by root of ad plus bc root of bc this is a formula for tetra choric correlations a very simple formula uh, just for example i am highlighting some of the tables now trained pass trained fail untrained pass student untrained failed student see here i have the two variable one is called pass and fail so that's nothing but the result result is one variable the second variable 
group uh, so i am giving the second variable is a group but the two classification trained and and trained uh, the other variable result having the two classification pass and fail so this variable divide into four category like trained pass one category trained fail another category untrained pass third category untrained fail is a fourth category therefore here the a represent trained pass b represent trained fail c represent untrained pass d represent untrained fail so i hope you understand these things similarly in the second example uh, one variable uh, this is called adjustment behavior the second variable result so this the first variable divide the two fold category adjusted and mold adjusted in a artificial dichotomy the similarly the result also two classification like success and failure here the a represent adjusted successful student b represent adjusted failure students c represent mall adjustment success students then d represent mall adjustment failure students so very simple only we have to look on the a b c d once you know the value of a b c d we can easily find out the value of b c we can easily find out the value of a d and b c is so nothing simple multiplication that we can take a root only but normally in the correlation we have the two correlation one is called positive correlation one is called negative correlation so how we can check the positive correlation negative correlation based on the score itself we can easily check the positive and negative see in this case uh, we have the ad so if you see the uh, i am clearing this uh, notification that uh, annotation then i am come back once again see here now i am selecting another color yes i am selecting this color see in this case uh, so the the diagonal multiplication see the diagonal multiplication ad suppose the ad value is greater than the bd bc value so ad is greater than bc then the correlation is positive what in the sense we knows the uh, already they know the meaning of the correlation of positive correlation what is represent a positive correlation just i'm selecting the that uh, white color uh, for writing see here we knows the positive correlation so what is the positive uh, i'm talking about the two variable if one variable is increase other variable also increase if one variable is decrease other variable also decrease this is the conditions we can go for a positive correlation but in this case adjustment is a positive term success is a positive term so you got clear then uh, here what is this negative terms in the sense in this case uh, failure is a negative term uh, so mall adjustment is a negative term then failure is a negative term so for example adjustment success so that for a represent therefore adjustment success is a positive terms then mall adjusted and failure it's both is negative therefore uh, we know that if one is increase other one is also increase positive mall adjusted also negative failure also negative therefore negative negative so it will be opposite side opposite side so therefore what it means it represent it means positive therefore a and d values are increasing we may get the positive correlation because the reason they highlight that ad is greater than bc it's called as a positive correlation if it come as a ulta other is a reverse mean for example bc value is greater than the ac then it's called negative correlation so from the name is we can easily understand so for this purpose i am going to highlight one more example also see in this case the two binary variable how when you can tell as a positive in the sense if ad value the diagonal value of ad is larger than the bc then it's called positive if it comes at ulta ad is lesser than the bc then it's called negative skew so here if you yeah from this example you can understand see here trained group pos is not an issue because trained group normally pos uh it like a trained positive aspects like a positive notes pos also positive notes therefore what it coming uh, so what it means that positive positive right plus plus what it comes finally plus one is coming uh but in the case of untrained fail it means a negative negative what it comes minus one so if you come for the normal uh, uh, multiplication aspects also it may get it for example i am taking a trained is a positive untrained is a minus pos is a positive untrained is a minus if you look on here i am selecting the another color to mark it here see here uh, yeah i am taking the another color um, in this case trained trained so plus 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 okay 
then plus into minus minus then minus into plus minus the minus into minus plus so see here in the positive value of ad i am taking the ad is a positive sense therefore if you are taking the ad value is greater than the, the bc value of minus okay so what it means called positive correlation but if the bc value is greater than the ad value then it's called negative correlation i hope you understand from this picture so i am taking the consideration the mathematical the normal statistics the normal mathematical application just i'm going to explain once again uh, i'm taking the more adjusted is a positive notes more adjusted negative notes this way success is a positive failure is a negative so i'm going to multiply uh, normal multiplication of mathematics uh, in the mathematical concept plus into plus 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 into minus 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 into plus minus minus into minus plus therefore what it means a and d represent positive therefore the a d value is greater than the bc value of minus we can come for a conclusion that it's a positive correlation if bc value is greater than the ac we can come for the conclusion that it is called negative correlation so i hope you understand those who are understand you can type in the chat box here you you and go to the next level yes now i'm going to the the calculation part i'm going to the calculation part uh this is a calculation uh, uh in 2 cross 2 table so it's like a contingency table 2 cross 2 the two fold distributions of students on trained and unsuccess is given therefore the two variable training and success is yeah, two variable in the training and successful i'm dividing to two like uh, trained and trained is a one classification fold two classification fold pass and fail is another classification here they given the number 20 40 15 22 what it means in the sense 20 students are trained they are pass i hope you understand so 20 trained students are pass so it what it represent 40 trained students are fail are fail in this case so here 15 represent what 15 untrained students are pass then 22 represent uh, uh, 22 untrained students are fail so this way we can be take it is like a frequency only this is 20 40 50 20 to represent frequency now i am going to do a calculations see here i am going to do the solution for this i am going to apply the theta coli formula formula is a theta coli formula rt of cos of 180 degree t divided by root of ad uh, plus root of bc so we already divided the a b c d and already fix a b c d we need a bc value as well as the ad value here also bc already there so therefore i want to find ad as well as the bd bc so for that i am doing the ad value what is a 20 then what is d 22 so just i am removing the annotation then i am going with this yeah see here i am taking what is ad a 20 therefore 20 what is d 22 so i am taking the a d the value is 440 then next i am taking is b c so here b 40 then c 15 so if you multiply this one you may get this 40 into 15 600 now you have to tell uh, from the basics this is a formula we know so what is that a and d a d is larger than the b c then is called positive if ad is lesser than the bc is called negative now we have to tell whether it's a positive correlation or negative correlation please kindly give your answer in the chat box uh, yeah prasanna is correct prasanna is exactly correct uh, because in this case bc value is above the ad value sari is also correct surya also correct so in this case uh, bc is greater than the ad therefore is called negative correlation so we can come for conclusion negative correlation Uh, before doing the uh, calculation also now i'm doing the uh, correlation calculation part so that i write the formula here then i can substitute the value of the root of bc is 440 the root of ad is 660 uh, 600 sorry the root of bc 440 then if i take it the root of 440 it comes 20.97 if i take the root of 600 it comes 24.49 then the same value 20.947 then after that i'm going to be um, minimize the, uh, the what is that i am going to solve this bracket so the bracket value 
cos of 3774.6 divided by 45.46 then finally if we uh, do the uh, calculation for the bracket only it may comes 83.03 it means that cos of 83.03 so it means that cos we know the value of cos 90 degree cos 0 degree but if you want to look on the cos 83.03 we can use our calculator to check the cos value of 83.03 just i'm selecting the our calculator in the computer and selecting uh, one calculator uh, so i'm selecting the calculator here the computer uh, i'm going with the scientific calculator here there is a options here if you go with the standard scientific i'm selecting the scientific calculator there i need a value of cos 83.03 therefore just i'm giving first 83.03 first then after 83.03 you can click the cost value now if you click cost value it comes 0.121 uh, for the maximum is i am putting as a round i am putting as a point, uh, minus uh, why i put the minus in the sense because already we know that bc is greater than ad therefore i am adding minus here in front of here then i am adding this cos 0.122 so the cost of 83.03 is comes 0.122 therefore i am using the value magnitude value in front i am using the negative in front i am using the negative i hope you understand why i am using the negative because why i am using the negative value in the negative symbol in the sense because bc is greater than ad due to that only i am using the negative symbol then i am writing the cos 80 cos of 83.03 value similarly i am going with another example also so here there is a two groups um, so two variable one is called trained uh, that's a group is a one variable then result is in another variable but two classification but in a four fold classifications this in questions now i am going to apply the formula now we can tell whether it is a positive correlation or negative correlation because when you go for a d and b c value a value is 30 d value is 30 therefore 30 into 30 900 if you go with b value 40 then c value is 20 if you multiply 40 into 20 we may get 800 now kindly and tell whether it's a positive correlation or negative correlation in this example yeah present as of course is your correct so it's a positive correlation please are yeah so surya is correct shanti arya everything is correct because in this case ad is greater than bc therefore it's purely we can come for conclusion that uh, before attempt the calculation also we can come for conclusion is a positive correlation uh, now i'm going to apply the formula the values so if we go with the value root of 2800 nothing but 28.28 the root of 9 into 30 root of 8 into 128.28 uh, once i uh, solve this bracket i may get the 5090.4 divided by 28.248 then if i uh, finding the value of this only the bracket i may get the value of 87.37 therefore the cos 87.37 i round off into cos 87 the value of cos 87 it uh, comes as a point uh, 087.087 so it means a positive correlated why i am putting positive correlated in the sense because here we know the value of ad is greater than bc uh, therefore we may come for the conclusion as a positive correlation um, so just i am highlighting two example to you i hope you understand these things uh, just i am going to be summarize uh, uh, this particular uh, category correlations see in this example so the tata correlation when we can use the sense we need a both the variable but the both the variables in a artificial dichotomous this is very important if it artificial dichotomous only we can use the tata correlation um so before going to the end uh, of this particular topic just i'm going to be summarize the previous things also uh, see here when we can use the correlation coefficients uh, and types of scales i'm ju- just uh, highlighting so pearson product moment correlation this question may comes to net exam pearson product moment correlation presents both the scales it be a interval or ratio is nothing but the continuous scale if both the scales both the variables in the continuous nature in a interval or ratio we can use the pearson product moment correlation when can use the spearman rank order the name itself we can easily understand if both the variables are ordinal if both the variables are ordinal we can use the uh, spearman so next we are already talking about the bi serial when we can use the bi serial one variable is a artificial dichotomous other variables in interval then we can use the bi serial point bi serial so one is an actual dichotomous other one is a 
interval we need two variable one is tangent dichotomy other one is scale uh, interval then we can use the point by serial okay so these are things only we discuss um, i hope you understand the exact things about the uh, theta choric correlations so just i'm going to summarize what is theta choric correlation once again um normally uh, we make use of theta choric correlation when these variables have artificial dichotomy it's maybe artificial dichotomy uh, however the basic assumption of this variable can be stated as follows both variables are continuous normally distributed and linearly related to each other if it were possible to obtain the scores and exact measures for them um so now i'll come for the conclusion that the uh, theta choric the term itself is uh, telling that it's a number four is needed the four fold classification needed like a b c d if you found that a b c d like a contingency table a b c d manner but the both the variables in the artificial dichotomy we should adopt here theta choric correlation i hope you understand the entire uh, things what we discussed uh, still now about the theta choric correlation thank you bye